In this video, I'll be investing real money into LEGO to see how much profit I can make. But the real question is, will I make my money back or will I go bankrupt? Let's find out. So the first thing I bought were these chrome lightsaber handles. And uh, I kind of needed them for my TCS build. These hilts are kind of just used to drip up my minifigures. I kind of just needed these for my TCS build, but uh, I paid $5 for this, and on average, one of these goes for 50 cents. But anyway, the next thing I bought was this Obi-Wan minifigure, also for my TCS build. He cost around $15. On average, one of him goes for ten dollars. Oh my god! But just you wait, because later in the video, I'll be making my money back, and maybe even doubling or tripling it. Bye. Anyways, the next thing I bought was this Obi Wan Jedi Starfighter. This Starfighter is absolutely insane. This set was released all the way out in 2002, huh? so the minifigures still use yellow skin and the blasters on the ships don't really work. But what does work is these amazing landing gears, which hold the ship up on display. In total, I paid $35 for this set. So this set usually sells for $40 on average, so I made myself $5 profit. <laughs> this next set has to be one of my favourites. Although I didn't make as much money as some of the ones coming later in the video, I just love this set. It has so many great features like a sliding open door, a landing gear, a weapons rack, and an amazing, amazing General Grievous minifigure. So in total, I spent $35 on this Lego set, but on average, it sells for $45 in this good condition. Alright, so the next set I'll be talking about is the police van. This set I picked up from a charity shop for $15. <laughs> it has a bunch of amazing features such as opening doors, opening storage areas, and guess what? <laughs> More opening doors. Well, we can see a prisoner that I kind of left in there and forgot about. This car is also modular, so you can take the roof off to have better play access inside. As well as that, you can take this roof off to place the minifigure inside. It's a really, really sleek looking model except for the stickers that this person put on. <laughs> so, as I said, I paid $15 for this, and on average, it goes to $50. Yep, you heard me right. I just made $35 profit. Here comes the oldest set in my collection, right, right from 1999 we have Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. It doesn't have many play features since it's such an old set, but I did snag it for 
this set averagely sells for about forty to fifty dollars, meaning I just made forty dollars profit. Now, before we get to our last sets, I'm just going to remind you to like and subscribe because uh, I think I might have the worst li view to subscriber ratio on the entirety of YouTube. Anyways, take a guess at how much I paid for these Lego sets. If your guess was $60, you'd be correct. This set alone pays for double that, as it can be averagely seen costing around $100 to $200. I was very happy with this purchase as I made around just on these sets alone I made $150 profit and in total for the whole video I made $240 profit if you enjoyed this video and are interested in this type of content make sure to subscribe because I'll be posting a lot more as I'm trying to get an upload schedule thanks for watching and uh See you next video.